Hello, stock investors. I'm Jerry Romine, and in this video, I'm going to give you the top five penny stocks with heavy insider buying. Every month, I analyze hundreds of stocks, and you want to watch this video to the end to get my full stock analysis, which includes fundamental and technical analysis, when to buy the stocks, and when to sell. Today's video is brought to you by Weeble, where you get two free stocks worth up to $1,850 when you open up and fund your account. Use the hookup link down below, and while you're at it, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel, and then grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on, because this is not your normal stock channel. Let's kick things off today with a success story from Pre Young. Thanks, Jerry, for recommending OMP stock. I have a 90% gain from it and it's still on fire. Buy right, sit tight. I recommended OMP on December 2nd when the stock was still in the $10 range and since then it has doubled in price. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. This is what we do and if you want to take your investing to the next level, then join our Patreon community where you get trade alerts, daily hot stocks, and my high growth portfolios. My goal is to help you with your investing and give as much value as I can. Today we are looking at penny stocks that have had a lot of recent insider buying. Why is this so important? I think Peter Lynch summed it up best with his quote, there are many reasons insiders sell, but there's only one reason insiders buy. They think the price will rise. Everything I do is with purpose and penny stocks have inherently more risk than other stocks. So we want to increase the chances of success in every way that we can. Now that you know why insider buying is so important, let me show you how I found these stocks using tip ranks. We're now in tip ranks and you're going to be blown away with just how easy it is to do. All we do is come up here, click on research tools and then do insiders hot stocks. The page loads and then what we're looking for is major event strategy and top rank strategy. And then we just simply scroll down and we're going to uncheck the two that we don't want. That's going to leave us what's left. And then we just click on this category because I want to search and I want to have the highest percentage returns and boom, now I've got all of these different stocks. I can see how much they're up with recent activity. And then we simply go through them. And now let's jump into those penny stocks. Tip rank shows Wise Pharma Insiders bought shares worth $3 million in the last three months and insider buying is a bullish indicator. Wise Pharma is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company currently focused on the treatment of ophthalmic disorders, including dry eye syndrome. I want to show you how proper due diligence can help with your investing because things are not always as they seem. Wise Pharma has a takeover offer from Cosmos Capital that was deemed unconditional and with a little research we can see CEO Noam Dannenberg bought $350,000 worth of shares at an average price of only 12 cents per share. The stock is currently trading at 108 and one week ago was trading at 90 cents. To me, it looks like the CEO exercised an option to buy at a much lower price, so he's okay no matter what happens. The stock has gone up since his insider buying and is trading close to the all-time highs. But when we look at the beast mode scorecard, we have no data and that's because OTC stocks are not required to report financials to the OTC market. Many do so investors can make informed trading decisions. Not having this information is a major red flag for me. We're now looking at Wise Pharma, ticker WIZP at the top. I've got my profit label or, or the stock performance label. And this is free inside my Discord on the education channel if you're interested. It's pretty handy. It says in the last week we're up 1.89%, the last month 9%, three months 791%. So this is a quick check and I have everything color coded with red as a warning and green as good. When we look at the stock here, we can see for the last couple of months, it's been trading like a normal stock, a good amount of volatility, which is good for day traders. And the other thing we wanna look at on every stock is what's that average daily volume Volume. So right here, we, as we scroll over this, up here you can see there is a volume category. So at this time, the volume was 24,250 on that day. And if you look at it now, as we go over these different bars, 455,000, 527,000, the activity really picked up and now it's holding right around 100,000. There's a lower day at 70,000, 100, 150. So this has enough volume for us to trade it. It is trading in an upward channel right now. It had a high, came back, it's going back up. And as far as the technicals go, there they're a little on the weak side. We want to see these turn back upward, most likely before we get into it, unless you think it's an extremely good value play. Tip rank shows GTEC Holdings Insiders bought shares worth $369,000 in the last three months. All right, for GTC Holdings, their stock symbol is GGTTF. They are a Canadian cannabis company that cultivates, markets, and distributes handcrafted high quality cannabis products. The company has four operational facilities licensed by Health Canada and is currently distributing cannabis through medical and recreational channels. They just entered the global 
global cannabis markets with an export agreement to Israel. This seems like a company that is making the right moves, especially when we see the insider buying. Our scorecard shows GTC Holdings is up 802% year to date, 929% in the last six months, and 1,033% in the last year. Their PE ratio is negative 13.6, price to sales ratio is 16.81, and their revenue growth forecast is 75%. G Tech Holdings, GGTTF. This is our Cannabis Cannabis Company. They've got a lot of really good things going for them. And what I really like is when we get over here, check out this volume. All of a sudden, it shot up. 3 million shares on this heavy bar right here. It was uh, 16 million shares, so it definitely has the volume. It's shooting up. It's going the right direction. So this is definitely a penny stock that you want to watch. I like it because it's in the cannabis sector. Penny stock traders will love it because it's got the volatility and it's got the high volume. So this is definitely one to watch for a number of reasons. Tip rank shows EVMO insiders bought shares worth $2.6 million in the last three months. Evmo bridges the gap between rideshare drivers in need of a suitable vehicle and rideshare companies that depend on attracting and keeping drivers. Evmo is a leading provider of rental vehicles to drivers in the ever-expanding gig economy, and they also manage a fleet of standard passenger vehicles to be rented directly to drivers through the rideshare platform. They are expanding their electric vehicles and hybrid ride options to over 1,400 cities in the U.S. and Canada. Not only that, Evmo is buying a fleet of Tesla EVs to go all electric by the end of 2021. Be sure to check out both with EVMO.com and their rideshare rental website. This is really an interesting penny stock, so let's look at the numbers. Our Beast Mode scorecard shows Evmo is up 479% year to date, 1,440% in the last six months, and 2,347% in the last year. Their PE ratio is negative 23.4, price to sales ratio is 17.9, and their revenue growth forecast is strong at 229%. Here's another really interesting stock, Yayo. They changed their name to Evmo, and they also have their commercial website is Ridesharing. I think it's ridesharing.com. I'll try to put that in the remarks down below. But another penny stock worth checking out, currently trading at 387. If we look at the volume over here, at this time it was pretty low, 19,000, then it picks up to 500,000. And over here in this time frame, we've got 754,000. Here's a real heavy volume day of over 1 million. So it definitely has the volume. It's got the volatility which is good for penny stocks. And now it's starting to come back down to earth. It just broke through that 20 day moving average. And let's go over these real quick. The blue line is the 20 day, the red is the 50 and the white is the 200 day moving average. And this is a stock that I'm definitely watching because I want to see if it continues to trade like a normal stock. Because if it does, I like a lot of the things that they're doing. And I think they're in a very good space. Tip rank shows International Land Alliance insiders bought shares worth $300,000 in the last three months. And insider buying is definitely bullish. International Land Alliance Alliance is ticker ILAL and they are a Mexico vacation investment property company and their properties are residential, commercial, recreational, waterfront, ranch, hotel, and marina. Pretty much anything a tourist wants. Our scorecard shows International Land Alliance is up 279% year to date, 147% in the last six months, and 97% in the last year. Their PE ratio is negative 13.4, price to sales ratio is 895, and their revenue growth forecast is 100%. Ticker ILAL is our next stock, and this is the International Land Alliance. And these guys are pretty interesting. And the first thing I notice is when I look at these bars, I know something is up. So all we have to do is look at the volume, and we're going to see 320 shares on this day, picked up on that day to 78,000 shares. Uh, the price was only four, you know 40 cents back then. And then if we go through here, we can watch this volume, and it's picking up a little bit here. But all in all, it's still a very thinly traded stock. This was a heavy day of 579,000 shares. But if we come over here, in this range, we can see it's only got 22,000 shares, 16,000 shares, and volume is really important. As a general rule of thumb, I want the volume to be over 100,000 because stocks like this, these are what can possibly become a pump and dump stock because they don't have much volume. So you've got to be really careful on this. It's a major red flag, and this is one that I'd stay away from. But I wanted to include it today and do a normal analysis so we can see the good things and the bad things. But volume is definitely a deal killer for me. Might work for you, so you make your own decision, do your own due diligence. Tip rank shows PavMed Insiders bought shares worth $32,000 in the last three months, which is a pretty small amount, but I'm still happy we found this company because they look really interesting. PavMed is ticker PAVM, and they have a unique business model focused on capital efficiency and speed to bringing medical devices to the commercial market more rapidly and with significantly less capital investment than traditional models. Check out this article, PavMed Prime to deliver significant value for shareholders from Seeking Alpha for more information on this company. This is one of my favorite penny stocks today 
and they are definitely on my watch list. All right, and one more really cool thing from Tip Ranks. We're now looking at PathMed. We know everything about it that we've already covered, but check this out. It's got a strong buy based on three analyst ratings. Its current price target is $8.67 with a high target of $9. The low target is $8 and it's currently trading at $4.48. So this is getting really, really interesting. And our top analyst on this one is Edward Wu. If we wanted to know more information about him, we can go over and check out his full profile. His average return is 22.6. His success rate is 52%, all kinds of information about him. And then we've got his analyst rating is a buy. He reiterated that action three days ago. So this is a very current, uh, so this is a very current analyst upgrade and the price target he has is $9. Our scorecard shows PathMed is up 118% year to date, 154% in the last six months and 231% in the last year. And their PE ratio is negative 11. And the last stock is PAVM, PathMed Incorporated. This is one of my favorite stocks on the day. First thing we notice is that it's been trading for a while now. It has really good volume. Even back here, whenever it had low volume, it was still 300,000 plus shares. We've got tight range bars, and this is moving like a normal stock. It's not jumping up and jumping down. Everything looks normal, and I love stocks that trade like stocks are supposed to. As we come over here, volume is increasing. When we get to this point, we've got over 8 million shares, 9 million shares, 14 million shares. So this stock has a lot of volume. You've already seen what the company is all about. So it definitely has my interest. And now we can see that it reached a high of 563. It came back down to the 20 day moving average, which is completely normal for any stock. And now it's trading just over that 20 day moving average. So this stock is acting and looking just like a normal stock has my attention. I'm interested in what this company does. And so this is one that's on my shortlist that I am considering to buy. So this is definitely a stock that I like and one that I'm keeping my eye on. And I might be buying this one in the near future. I'm just going to watch it a little bit more to see how it moves. We had a really good mix of penny stocks today and I'm impressed with tip ranks and how we can use them to find stocks with a lot of insider buying. Up next, we've got the question of the day. What's the best way to play penny stocks? First and foremost, I want to stress that penny stocks inherently have more risk, but they can also have tremendous reward. My preference is to make sure the average daily volume is greater than 100,000, and this will help you avoid potential pump and dump scams. After that, you have three choices. Number one, play them based on the technicals where you look at the charts. Number two, look for penny stocks that have real potential, which could be fundamentals or big things in the pipeline, or something like insider buying, which we use today. And number three, my favorite is to find companies companies that have a good reason to go up in value and then use the technical entry to get into the stocks. For today's stocks, we had a head start by finding stocks with heavy insider buying thanks to tip ranks and be sure to check them out with the link down below and let me know what you think of tip ranks. And finally, two of my favorite stocks today are Evmo and PathMed. My goal is to help and give as much value as I can. And if you like today's video, make sure to hit the like, subscribe and notification bell to see more videos just like this one. I make daily videos all about investing in the stock market. And if you want to take your investing to the next level, join our community on Patreon. Here's to cutting our losses fast, letting our winners run and lots of profits. Peace and I'll see you on the next video.